To protect plants from pests, it is essential to have strong national phytosanitary systems in place. National plant protection organizations are responsible for implementing the International Plant Protection Convention, or IPPC, and its standards. The IPPC provides the framework for concrete technical assistance to countries using the IPPC Phytosanitary Capacity Evaluation Tool, also known as the PCE. So what is the PCE? The Phytosanitary Capacity Evaluation, or PCE, is a management tool designed to help a country identify its strengths and gaps in its existing and planned phytosanitary systems. The strategic plan developed through PCEs provides the basis for dialogue with donors, improving the likelihood of accessing fundings and strengthening phytosanitary systems. The PCE tool is implemented through consensus and it is confidential. To date, 121 countries in seven regions have benefited from the PCE. Reviews of the PCE show their positive impacts. For example, in April 2017, Comoros applied the PCE tool, which resulted in the Parliament adopting new phytosanitary legislation. Combined with a new phytosanitary capacity development strategy, Comoros is improving its market access and food security protecting its agricultural production and environment, as well as attracting donors. The Comores depend on the importations that are désormais the source of introduction of maladies of plants. The bananiers, the cocotiers, the manioc and the filières de rente have subit de nombreux attacks ces dix dernières années. Ceci constitue une menace pour la sécurité alimentaire et pour l'économie du pays. Bien sûr, avec l'appui de nos partenaires, notamment le CDF, le programme des Nations Unies pour le Développement et la Convention internationale pour la protection des végétaux, notre pays a mis à niveau notre législation sanitaire et phytosanitaire. Donc, il était important pour nous de défendre cette loi que nous avons adoptée à l'unanimité pour garantir le bien-être de notre population. The PCE project was financed by the Standard and Trade Development Facility, or STDF. The PCE builds the capacities of national plant protection organizations to implement IPPC standards. It aligns with the STDF objective to increase countries' abilities to trade safely. The STDF continues to actively support the PCE tool. Since 2012, it has funded a project to train PCE facilitators and lawyers, which helped countries to strengthen their phytosanitary systems. The PCE project, known as the STDF 401, trained national experts to conduct the PCE in countries. 40 PCE facilitators and more than 20 lawyers were trained as a result of this project. The intensive training entailed a better understanding of the IPPC and its standards, logical framework analysis and results-based management tools. In addition, the project resulted in the development of training materials. Chiluba Mwape was one of the PCE facilitators. What did he gain from the training? Uh, the first that I'd point out that was so helpful in uh, conducting the training. First, it was group management and uh, presentation skills. Uh, these aspects were effectively applied in order to ensure that the participants of the training uh, were all actively engaged and understood what they were doing. And besides that, knowledge that we gained with regards to understanding of the uh, IPPC as well as the PCE process um, enabled uh, me to uh, deliver the presentations as required. PCE facilitators are now able to share their expertise in any country and to support the noble mission 
of protecting plants from pests and making the world a better place.